Mark Francois. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The whole point of the Northern Ireland Protocol was to avoid the creation of a hard border on the island of Ireland. And yet late last week, the European Commission, in an act of stunning hypocrisy, attempted to do exactly that, affecting medicines and critical vaccines. It's blown up in their face. But if they ever doubled down and tried it again, then the President of the Commission would unquestionably have to resign. In the meantime, in the Joint Committee, will the Chancellor work with Mr Sefcovic to try and really rip back these problems, particularly those goods at risk? Can we narrow them down to a very, very small number instead of, at the moment, virtually everything being treated as if it were at risk with all the attendant bureaucracy that goes with it? Well, my right honourable friend is, is absolutely right. And, and again, um, as I mentioned briefly um, in my response to um, uh, the Honourable Lady, um, the whole point about Article 16 is that it's there to uh, safeguard the interests of the people of Northern Ireland. It's not there to ensure that uh, you can somehow control the export of vaccines from Belgium and, and the Netherlands. It's just it's not appropriate. Um, uh, his broader point is absolutely right. We do need to make sure that we work rapidly within the Joint Committee to address uh, these issues. Um, and indeed, once we've done so, take that step back and look at how we can safeguard Northern Ireland's position in the round.